Hello, Falta. This is Laura O'Brien. I'm an author and co-founder of the Irish Pagan School. So I'm here on my blog at lauraobrien.ie and I'm going to put a blog post into video format for accessibility and to make sure that people who don't read blog posts have access to it in video format. So what do I put on a Morrigan altar? As a priestess of the Morrigan, I get regular questions about working for or with this Irish goddess. Here is one of my answers. So Beck Dunn asked me, I want to set up an altar whilst I do this work to connect with her. Are there things to include or definitely not put on? Altars are so personal. The short answer is you can put whatever you want on there. Me, personally, I always have a real flame on it. That's not tied to any lore of hers or anything. It's just, I don't know whether that's a cultural thing for me or a magical thing, but I don't know. It kind of feels like she gets a bit cold sometimes. And I like to have a little flame for her. It also kind of reminds her that we're human. And this is what humans do. And it's not necessarily her nature to want fire or to want a flame, but it is ours. I think that's always kind of served me well. So there's always candles. And when I want to definitely check in with her, candles are lit and it brings a very clear focus. And, you know, obviously I pick up crow feathers everywhere I go or corvid feathers. So there's a lot of different crow feathers and corvid feathers from different sites here in Ireland. I'm big on stones and bits of dirt and all the rest of it too. So that's all good. And that's all on my altar. I would advise not putting sexualized male gaze statues of the Morrigan on your altar. But again, that's down to personal taste. Just in case you're not aware, there has been a lot of backlash and rightly so in Facebook Morrigan groups over deity representation and misogyny and particularly representations of the Morrigan for the male gaze, basically where she's holding a sword without the arm strength to do so. And she looks like she's ready to drop it on her foot, all those kinds of things. Personally, a lot of the statuary and artwork that's commercially available at the moment is, well, it doesn't, really doesn't do it for me, to be honest. So image wise for the altar, then I have always been drawn to images of crows, particularly, and that seems to me to be a good kind of catch all, particularly if you're starting out, you can't really go wrong with those. There are some really, really gorgeous ones out there, and it's not going to piss anybody off. I don't think it's healthy for us to necessarily put our own interpretations of her on her. She's very much a shapeshifter and her form is formless. A crow is symbolic of her, a raven if that's your thing, but crows specifically are connected to her here in Ireland rather than ravens. There is one raven, raven reference in the lore, as far as I'm aware, but generally it's crows. If there's a choice between a raven and a crow, I would definitely go for the crow. And just to note here in Ireland, this is off script, just to note here in Ireland, when we talk about the crows, we're actually talking about uh, what's known as maybe the, the Royston crow or the scald crow or the hooded crow. So it's the, that black and grey crow. When you see big black birds here, big black corvids here that are not ravens, they are rooks. So those are the, the jet black birds that we have here. So you can enroll in Morrigan classes at the Irish Pagan School, and um, I will put a link below to all of our free classes that we have at the Irish Pagan School. And um, there are related posts, such as the Morrigan Ultimate Resources Guide over on the blog at lauraobrien.ie. You can go into the blog and use the search function for Morrigan, or click on the tag for the Morrigan, and you will find many posts. I think there's 20, over 20 something posts there. So thank you for your time and your attention and your interest. And um, like I said, this 
is a, maybe a new format for me where I don't have to be on screen. So it's a little bit easier to do and to put some of my blogs into video and audio format. And it also means that there are there is effectively a transcript on the screen as well for people because any of the AI transcription services that are available to us don't really do well with Irish accents. So we do have issues with those. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. It's long a fall and I will see you next time.